naughty kids. You know what today is? Say it with me, kids. Memorize it Monday. That's exactly right. So this week we have another short verse, but it is one that I hope that we can write on our hearts and learn so much from. It's from one of my very favorite books in the Bible, the book of Psalms. And even though we say it Psalms, it actually starts with a P and it's right in the middle of your Bible. So if you took your Bible and you were to turn to the middle, you will probably be very, very close to the book of Psalms. All right. And the Psalms are songs and poems from people who cried out to God, who had all the feelings and all the emotions. They were people that were going through great things and people that were going through hard things and people that were being persecuted. And these people wrote down their prayers and their songs and their poems to God. So the one that we're going to learn today is Psalm 105.4. So say that. Psalm 105.4. Are you ready? You guys repeat after me. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Pretty easy, right? All right, let's try it again. You guys repeat after me. Psalm 1054. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. All right. I bet you guys are ready and you can do the whole thing with me. Are you ready? Let's try it. Psalm 1054. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Psalm 1054. Look, oh, no, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Guys, we are going to be in the Word this week, and we're going to learn what it means to look to God and His strength and to always, always, always seek Him in His face. It's going to be an awesome week. Let's pray this day into or out of. God, we thank you so much. God, we thank you that you are strong and that we can always look to you. God, help us to seek your face in all things every day. Starting today, God, help us to seek your face. We love you so much. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow when we get into God's word together. See you then.